meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee. Sponsored by your Wisconsin Chevy Super Dealers. A warm and humid day to wrap up the month of July across most of northeast Wisconsin. Right now, temperatures ranging from the upper 70s in Manitowoc and Kewanee to 90 in Wapaka. Up and down the Fox Valley, temperatures failed to reach 90 once again today, which means this July will go into the record books with no 90s. That has not happened since 2017. Tomorrow is August 1st, which means as far as weather records are concerned, we are now two thirds the way through meteorological summer and as it stands right now it is running above normal here in northeast wisconsin but august is the month that we begin that summer slide the normal high tomorrow 81 by the end of the month it's down to 77 degrees the radar shows dry conditions across central and northeast wisconsin this evening but it's a different story Across central and northeast Minnesota, we have a large area of showers and thunderstorms. There's a severe thunderstorm watch covering much of the state, even a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. But it appears that the bulk of that activity is going to be dropping more to the south than east as we head throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Having said that, there is a marginal threat for severe weather south and west of Green Bay, just in case some of those thunderstorms do move in here late tonight into the early morning hours of Thursday. Now, the system responsible for those showers and thunderstorms is an area of low pressure now moving into southwestern Minnesota, and it will be our main weather maker for tomorrow. Temperatures around it in the 80s and 90s, closer to it where we had clouds and showers and thunderstorms. We had 70s and 80s. And that's what I'm expecting as we move into tomorrow afternoon. We're going to have a lot more clouds out there than what we've been seeing lately. And we'll have that chance for some on and off showers and thunderstorms. So temperatures will be cooler, a little bit closer to normal. Skycast shows mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning. And then we'll have that chance for some on and off showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. And much like yesterday and tonight, there's going to be a marginal threat for severe weather across uh, much of the viewing area. And that means any thunderstorms could produce some gusty winds and some hail and of course some locally heavy rain. So tonight look for a chance of a shower or thunderstorm later on tonight, especially south and west of the Fox Valley. Overnight lows will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds and a few thunderstorms. My three degree guarantee is 84. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to New Community Shelter. And we did that today. I forecast 89, the actual high was 86 degrees. On Friday, sunshine returns after a morning shower or thunderstorm close to 90. Looks like we'll be pretty close to 90 on Saturday as well. Maybe a late day shower or thunderstorm, but probably dry for most of the day. A little bit cooler on Sunday with mostly sunny skies and then much cooler next week with a chance for some more rain.